Well, there has been a rather strong earthquake in Northern California, so strong, in fact, that it has, among other things, knocked out all the power, uh, or much of the power, at Candlestick Park, where the third game of the World Series was being played. But in the overall scheme of things, that may be the very least of things that has happened today. You can see some video there. I gather that's live video of Candlestick Park. And we, we are feeling a shock right now, and that shaking in your picture is being amplified by the... Uh, tremor that has just gone through the top of the stadium and we are live they're taking the bases off uh, 841 Eastern 541 and we just felt it out here we're at ground level this is a live shot from our affiliate our own and operated station in San Francisco KGO and you can see that there are at least two major fires that seem to be in progress there let me just explain to you that uh, what we're doing here is we are listening in on the broadcast of our affiliate in San Francisco, KGO, because a great deal of the information that is coming is more readily accessible to them than it is to us. Uh, and they have reporters reporting live from around the entire Bay Area region. Whatever they can to stop the fire, but part of the problem, obviously, is, uh, is gas. Storm water, prepare for aftershock, prepare for three days of no services. You got 90 minutes of light left. You better make use of your time. 
standing here ain't doing nothing. We have Leslie Brinkley standing by live right now. Leslie, go ahead. It's looking bad over here in Oakland. The electricity is out in much of the city, and we have a bad freeway collapse. It's that ramp of the Nimitz Freeway that goes from Cypress, Cypress Street on up to the Bay Bridge, about a six or seven block stretch of it collapsed during the earthquake. They are pulling bodies out from underneath this lower ramp. There were just some injuries on the upper ramp, but those on the lower ramp, there are a lot of fatalities. The epicenter of this earthquake is about 100 miles to the south in the Santa Cruz Mountains along the San Andreas Fault. We have had very difficult time getting any information out of that area tonight. Now our own Tony Russomano is live in Santa Cruz now to give us uh, some notion of what's happened. This is our first report from there. Tony? Pete, this town of 40,000 is about uh, 10 miles from the epicenter of the earthquake. You would expect the damage to be severe here, and it is. The downtown section of Santa Cruz is basically gone. All the old uh, brick, unreinforced buildings have collapsed. This is a department store called Ford's. It collapsed. The second store, the second story came down to the, into the first floor, trapping several people inside. At least three people are known to have died here on the mall. Perhaps uh, 12 to 14 total in Santa Cruz. Authorities do not have a, a final fatality figure. Many, many other people are injured. Power has been out for several hours.
Subject is male, um, somewhere between 18 and 21 years old. I estimate that the time of death was around five days ago, but due to the severe tissue damage, it's, it's hard to say for sure. The cause of death was likely malnutrition. I was able to recover most of the digestive tract. So, yes, things start to deviate from what we would consider to be natural. The decomposition process appears to have been stunted somehow. It, it's like it's like portions of the body stopped decaying and, and were sustained. Other areas, however, were completely overtaken by culture. So, uh, I took... Uh, Samples of some of the material here. <clears throat> First, I, I thought it was a, an aggregated collection of pseudomenus fluorescence, but uh, it seems to be closer to a mutated strain of simple hay bacillus, which it should be completely benign, but. Really, I, I, I don't know what to make of this. Mr. Beck, may I ask uh, where this subject came from? Research and development team. In this short informative video, you will be briefed on the required protocol in regard to Project KV31, as well as receive an overview of future development plans. What is Project KV31? Project KV31 pertains to the study and development of the async low proximity magnetic distortion system. For the sake of convenience, you may hear your peers refer to the project under any of the following titles. The Machine. The Door. The Back Rooms. The Complex. Hallways. Unauthorized usage of these terms outside of the async research facility is strictly prohibited. The threshold without guided supervision. Never enter the complex alone. All expeditions are to be comprised of no fewer than three individuals.
Yeah, but that was two weeks ago. I don't think we're doing anything about it now. I mean, do you really think that there's actually a vaccine in this situation? I mean, there's too many variables. Because you know, probably they can reset the whole circuit, but it is doable. We don't have it because I want to have the same time and I have a new one to go. Go north. Yeah, so I don't know if we're there. Yeah, I don't know if we're there. Yeah, I don't know if we're there. Guys, do you hear this? Hey guys, can you hear this? Hey! <laughs> guys. Um. Guys. George. Morgan! <laughs> hey!
Hello?
Yeah, I, we, we just went for a week. <laughs> Nobody's coming. Yeah, I think it was legal like that. Yeah, even though it's got to call that from a bridge or whatever. Um, yeah, it's typical to people down here. You know what I'm Look at my timetable. Check, one, two, three. One, two, three, mark, mic check. You're all good. This is Marv. One, two, three. Marv, mic check. One, two, three. Great. Uh, this is George. Mic. Everything okay?
I think I pulled something in my shoulder. I'm a, I'm a bit dizzy, but no, no, I'm fine. Where are you? Can you describe your surroundings? Uh, it's it's different, it, like like a room up there, but architecture is the same, but the wallpaper is different. It's a bit greener. Hold on, I need to see if. Nope. I'm not reaching the tunnel I fell from. The opening comes out through the wall, but it's too high. Okay, just stand by and see if I can get it. Got it. Is the camera in check? Seems to be fine. I'm recording, but who knows what the output will be like. Mark, make your way back over to this side. Carefully. Do we have another camera? I need to get this. It has to wait. This takes precedence. Throw down the guideline with the weight attached. I can use it to climb up. Just tried that. There won't be enough length to reach you. George, go run back to standard and bring it together. Hang in there, Marv. What was that? What was what? I don't. I don't know. I didn't hear anything up here. It sounded like. I think there's somebody down here. What? Uh, I, I hear yelling. Like, a person is yelling. Wait, what, a, a person? Yeah. That makes no sense. Are you sure you're not just hearing us? No, it's definitely not from you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? what are you doing? I'm trying to find them. I know how to get back. It's, it's fine. Keep us posted. Can you hear me? I'm sh- Anything. I'm entering one of the houses. I can see where the guy from. Okay. This is... odd. Uh, there are inverted turn signs in this room. Coming out of the 
carpet. They're inverted? What do you mean by that? Mirrored. They're not oriented properly. I think I'm losing you, just stand and by.
The world around us is ever-changing. Throughout this past century, we have seen the advent of countless innovations that have completely reshaped life as we know it. But with all of this growth comes a number of undesirable byproducts. Byproducts that, if left unchecked, have the potential to irreversibly scar our modern world. As human expansion is projected to increase exponentially in the coming decades, we must account for these never-before-faced challenges in ways equally never-before-considered. Here at Async, we believe we have found the solution. The Low Proximity Magnetic Distortion System.
what is the low proximity magnetic distortion system? Using 32 distributed across all points, allowing for cargo and personnel to seamlessly pass through their designated threshold. While our current threshold is limited in scale, future models will be able to span entire rooms, allowing for the transfer of larger vessels and equipment.
Chasing Bird's Ambulance. Hutz is the name, Mr. Simpson. Lionel Hutz, attorney at law. Here's my card. It turns into a sponge when you put it in water. Ooh, classy. I'd like to talk to you about bringing legal action against the fiend who did this to your boy. Oh, well, uh, the fiend who did this to my boy is my boss. And besides, the doctor says it's just a bump on the head and a broken toe. Nothing serious. <laughs> Doctors. Doctors are idiots. There's no telling what kind of permanent injuries he might have. You might have to wait on him hand and foot for the rest of his natural life. That's the downside. Now, here's the good part. You can ching, 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 cash in. Limacol, con su triple acción, ayuda a aliviar la tos, la congestión y a expulsar las flemas. Limacol, con su abusador, sabe tratar la tos. You're right, you're right. When you feel up to it, come over to my office and we'll talk about it. Lionel Hutz, attorney at law. What's that, a broken neck? Right. Surgery, please. Hello, Dr. Hibbert. Hello, Lisa. Well, we've got a nasty bump on our head, haven't we? Ow. Thank you. 
Okay, so you may be wondering what I'm doing, um, recording a square of tape in my garage. Um, I swear I've not gone crazy. Um, there's a very good reason for this, and if you just give me a moment here, um, you can see for yourself. Okay, um, I don't think it's worth trying to explain what's going to happen here. Um, you just have to see it to believe it. So I've got some wood chips here, just a bunch of wood. And um, I just watch this and prepare yourself because it's really freaky. Watch the square. Look at that. Gone. They're gone. <laughs> all right, I'm going to show it again just because wood chips is a little bit of a weird example. Um, but here's a baseball. All right, and just watch. Gone. God, it just it, it went into the floor. All right, I'm going to do a couple tests now. Um, I've got this tape measure here. And I'm just gonna let that down and see how far it goes. I feel it, it's like vibrating. What is this? There's nothing else in here. What the fuck? Hello? I need help! Hello? That's just a couch. What is this place even for? Hello? Oh. Okay, that's um a hole on the floor. Hello? Is there anybody in there?
Okay, um, there's gotta be a staircase, right? Elevator or something? God, how do people get in here? Anybody here? Hello? What is that? Wallpaper? Better still be recording. Is there someone in here? Hello, do you need, do you need help?
Sound? Camera? Rolling. All right, and action. All right, cut, cut. That was good, that was good, guys. All right, uh, that was good. I'm thinking we get a wide angle, and then we're done. Yeah. All right, yeah, cool. cool. Like, how much further, like? Uh, a little more, right. a little more. That? Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Hello? Hello? Hey guys. What is this? Hello? Is someone there? Can anybody hear me? Hello? Damn it. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Don't
This isn't real. This, this isn't real. Thank <laughs> you.